Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Millie on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS. So, a little bit about this series. I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS. Uh, it's a self-hosted recipe manager and meal planner with a REST API back end and reactive front end application built in view for pleasant user experience for the whole family. This is a screenshot of it. It works on different platforms. Uh, I import recipes, automatic backups, rich user interface, ma mail planner, uh, users, groups, and uh, uh, web hooks, and open APIs. Um, I don't think this is an app. This is just a responsive a UI. So, um, so that's what we'll be installing today. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link on YouTube description to get to this. Um, so this is a third-party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it's got a lot of apps in it nowadays. I did make a how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS video, but I'm going to go over in this video as well. Um, the custom app stores in Cost OS are supported on 0 0.4.4 or newer of Cost OS. I'm going to scroll up to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it, then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get the App Store set up. So now I'm on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store, then I'm going to go to More Apps over here. A text input pops out. I'm going to paste in the URL that we copied, and then I'm going to press Add. Now it's added, we have 161 apps. So um, we can't see it over in the categories yet. So I'm gonna refresh the page, go back to the app store, go to the categories. You can see Big Bear Cost OS. So this is the way you can see all the, uh, the Big Bear Cost OS apps that are supported in uh, this category. So we got the app store set up. So now I'm gonna start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm gonna go over to search and type meal now I'm going to go in the apps milli right here. Then I'm going to go in the Docker and Post. So the cost OS app name is Big Bear Millie. I'm going to set services. And then the first service underneath the services is called app. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Millie. The image is coming off Docker Hub by default. And this is the Docker image. And this is the Docker image tag. Restart unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for no reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to mount volumes, so data, app data, dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name up here. And then da data, so this is on the host side, and this is on the container side, so app data. Um, po uh, ports are 9925 is on the host side, and 9000 on the container. And then I'm going to set XHOS as information, so this explains the volumes and the ports. I'm going to set some cost OS specific information for the app store. And then the, the architectures are AMD64 and ARM64. That's what the Docker image up here supports. And then main app. And then a description, the tagline. And then the developer. And then the author, the icon, the thumbnail, and the title. The category so people can find all the bigger cost OS apps. And then the port map is 9925. That aligns with the port up here on the host right here. So, and also the main right here aligns with the service name of app. Uh, so the tips right here are before install. So it'll pop up and like tell you. So that's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now we're going to install Millie. So, we're going to start on our cost OS. We're going to go to the App Store, 
And then we're going to go to search and type meal. Now you're going to see it come from Big Bird Coffee West because it's this category down here. So I'm going to go into it. I'm going to press install. And um, now you can read that if you'd like to. I'm going to say next steps. So what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image, getting extracted, and getting it up with Docker and Pose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So this can take a little bit to get it installed. It's almost done, 82%. So now this does get stuck sometimes. So there you go, it's installed, we got it done. So now I'm gonna go over the container options. So if you go up these vertical dots right here, you click it, you can open into the web UI right here. You can set some tips and there's already a tip uh, in here, but I'm gonna say testing, now I'm gonna save. So now it's gonna reload the container. It's gonna say Millie is okay. So you can go into settings and you can edit some settings right here and you can press the save button. You can also go in the terminal logs. You can go in the terminal of the uh, container. There you go. You can see logs right here. Great for debugging. You can also export the Docker and pose here. Next side of here. And then you can check for updates. And then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So that's a little bit about the container options. So I'm going to go into the UI now so you can go from here or you can go in it from here. So I'm gonna open it. And um, now it's going to give you a username and, pa and password to go on. So I'm going to put that in. And then I'm gonna put the password in, which is my password. There you go. And then I'm gonna log in. So. Now we're in, so you can go over here to cha change me, and you can see group statistics, the personal, which is managed user profile. You can change your password, username, full name, email, and then update. Um, I would recommend changing that. Um, so you can see API tokens and manage them, group settings, cookbooks, members, webhooks, notifiers, manage data, da data migration. You can also come over here to search. You can create, import a recipe by URL, create a recipe manually, I create a new cookbook. So you can create a recipe. And then there we go. You can say I made this or last may never. You can star it, you can delete, you can see the JSON, and um, you can close, save. You can also add ingredients, so there you go. And then um, you can go in here to to toggle selection, there you go, and then a section, I mean. Um, you can add an image, settings, instructions, um, you can save that. There we go. And then you can add comments. You can see a meal planner to where you can go over here and edit and you can add a meal plan. And then now you can add, just add a random dinner and add it to testing. Um, you can see your shopping list, a timeline, categories, tags, and tools. You can also go back to the home page and you can add the favorites. And then you can go on back into the favorite recipes and be able to get to them really quickly. You can go to one randomly. You can go down to settings right here and application version, uh, email. You can test the email and then the about. You can also go into users, groups, backups, maintenance, background task, and parser. So that's a little bit about Millie's UI. So I just went over step by step on getting Millie running on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.